much to learn, so come on, let's go. Oh, I woke up 15 minutes early. I think I'll go back to sleep. Or I could pray. Oh, but I don't really feel like it. I know I should pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day, and I ask you to help me pray in the Holy Spirit. Hey campers, did you see what Toby did? Instead of yielding to his flesh, he yielded to his spirit. His flesh wanted to sleep in, but his spirit had something for him to do. He knew it was time for him to pray, and he did it. And if we will develop like he is, we learn to pray like that every day. We're going to get strong in our spirit. And it's going to be easy for us to overcome the flesh. Good morning, campers. Welcome back. I have some new helpers with me today. Are you guys excited for worship? Yes. yes. I'm really excited. And so before we get started, let's do some warm-ups. Are you guys excited? Ready? Yes. Okay, so let's wiggle out our hands, stretch out really far. And then... Oh, it looks like I see someone acting like a monkey. That's so silly. Why don't we try it too? Woo, 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 like that. And then monkeys also, like they reach really really tall for their bananas and everything. And then they also like reach, reach out this way. And then with their legs, they grab things with their feet. That's really funny too. All right, and also our first song is Father Abraham. So I think we need to get, get warmed up, practice, practice our little, little arm like that. And then your other arm, your, your right arm. And then your, your, oh, that was, that was your left. And then you do your right leg, and then your left leg. And then can you nod your head? And then can you put it all together for the last one? All right, and then we can stop. I think that's pretty warmed up. But first, before we do, I have a confession. Let's say our confession all together. So just repeat after me. So we are some of the most. We are some of the most. Spiritually aware, spiritually aware, and spirit-led, and spirit-led, kids of our generation, kids of our generation, on the planet, on the planet. All right, let's go.
far, so just make sure you're there. Hey campers, it's offering time. But first, let's start with confessions. Are you ready? Here we go, say it with me. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, okay, say, get your Bibles. Say it with me, say, this is my Bible. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do, and I can be what God says I can be. Absolutely we can, can't we? Well, if you notice, uh, I'm holding an ear of corn. Doesn't it look delicious? I can just take a big old bite. <sighs> well, today we're gonna be talking about this ear of corn, even in our scripture. But we start with the seed. When we plant just one of these little corn kernels into the ground, it produces it starts off with a little stalk, right? Well then, next thing you know, the stalk gets bigger and it produces lots of these ears of corn. And each ear of corn has thousands of these little kernels on each ear. That's pretty amazing, is it? That all of these kernels come from just one little bitty seed. That's pretty cool. Okay, well let's get into our offering. So I need to hold this. Oh, you, yeah. okay, perfect. Okay. Well, why don't we even talk about offering? Can anybody tell me? No? Okay, well let's, let's talk about it. We talk about offering so that we can learn to be obedient to what God is telling us to do. And when, when we sow seed and we are obedient to God, God can set us up to prosper. And He wants great things to come into our life. And that's why we talk about offering. Okay, so. We first want to talk about what the Word talks about. So let's turn to Mark 4, 26 through 29. That's in the New Testament. Let me get there. Hang on just a bit. Oh, I'm there. Are you there? Great. Here we go. Mark 20, 4, 26. It says, And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, we just talked about that, first the blade, right? And then the ear, and after that the full corn of ear. Well, but when the fruit is brought forth immediately, he put it in the sickle because the harvest is come. Well, boy, boys and girls, when we sow, just like that corn, when we sow into the kingdom of God, right where he tells us to, God multiplies our seed, whether it's, um, it may not be corn seed, but it could be money or toys, whatever God has put on your heart to sow, then we want to be willing and obedient to sow exactly because he wants good things for you. He will multiply our seeds sown. So if you sow money, he will produce, he will cause a big harvest of money to come back into you. If you sow your favorite toy, he will cause more, to more of your favorite toys to come into you. And even an outfit. I have lots of outfits I like. Well, if God puts it on your heart to sow it, you want to sow it because he wants something even better to come back into you. See, he's setting us up to prosper. So that's why we learn these offering lessons. Well, if I were to sleep, let's go back to our corn, our corn kernel, our seed. If we planted that in the ground and we went to bed and slept and woke up the next morning, would we have a whole stock with lots and thousands of little corn kernels and ears of corn on it? Would we? Would it happen overnight? No, uh, no, that'd be great, but no, that's not what happens. What happens is we have to have faith and we have to have patience. That's right, farmers, it takes time for farmers to grow crops and crops of corn, right? And lots of ears. Well, same way for us. When we sow and we're obedient to God, We've got to have faith and patience and wait exactly for God's timing because he knows the best timing and when we are spiritually ready for that harvest to come in. And when it does come in, boys and girls, look at this picture. I want to show you a picture. Look at this. Look at that. When the farmer has 
faith and patience that when he plants his corn seed, it's gonna multiply, he's gonna get lots of corn, ears of corn, right? And he'll have lots of corn on the cob to eat. Well, that is just like our Father God. When we sow exactly where God tells us to, he wants to multiply it and he will. He will multiply it. That's right. Well, I've enjoyed talking corn with you guys, so I think I'm gonna head out, but I will catch you campers later on today. See you later. Thanks so much, Miss Heather. And thank you, worship team. Man, what an awesome time in the presence of the Lord. That's one of the most important keys to developing a strong spirit. It's praising, it's worshiping Him. You're bound to get stronger on the inside when you're doing that, when you're spending time with Him. But I'd like to go over another key with you right now. It's about praying in the Holy Spirit. As you and I pray in the Spirit, we're actually feeding our spirit. We're exercising our spirit. And it causes us to grow stronger on the inside. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 tells us to build ourselves up in our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. So it's just like this balloon. When you pray in the Spirit, you're actually pumping it up. Your spirit's getting stronger. You're being filled with the presence of God. So when things come up in your day, maybe you're tempted to be frustrated or a little angry, or you might be, uh, I don't know, tempted to be afraid. Well, that's what praying in the Spirit will do. It'll build you back up so you're ready for anything and ready to overcome the flesh in every situation. You know, some of you, maybe you've never been filled with the Spirit. You can be filled with the Spirit. It says in Luke chapter 11, verse 13, that if parents know how to give their kids good gifts, how much more does our Heavenly Father, or how much more would our Heavenly Father give us the Holy Spirit if we just ask Him? So let's ask Him right now. If you'd like to be filled with the Spirit, let's go to the Father and ask Him. Father, we ask You. I ask You. Fill me with Your precious Holy Spirit. I ask that You would help me and give me utterance in tongues right now. That's good. That's really good. That's all you have to do. You'll just have something on the inside of you come up and just speak it out. It's that easy to be filled with the Spirit. So great job. You know, we are some of the most spiritually aware and spirit-led kids in our generation. So let's say that together. We are some of the most spiritually aware and spirit-led kids of our generation on the planet. Great job. And it's the truth. You are. And you'll be more spiritually aware if you'll pray in the Spirit. Awesome job. You know, that concludes our chapel for today. So let's go ahead and head over to the lunch area. Awesome. Hey, Toby, come over here real quick. Hey, I wanted to ask you, would you pray over the lunch today? Oh, uh, um, uh, yeah, okay. Awesome, man. I'll see you there. What did I just do? Now I have to pray in front of everyone. Uh, I guess I'll pray over it before I go to lunch. Father, I ask you to help me pray in the Holy Spirit and give me confidence to pray over lunch. Whoa, <laughs> Counselor Lisa, hey, what are you doing? Oh, well, you know, I'm just talking to all the kids, talking to them about my cool headband here. Well, what is that for? Oh, well, it's funny that you asked because I actually made this. Okay. 
I, I made it to help remind the kids, or encourage the kids, that um, we need to continually build our spirit up. Well, I mean, that's a really good reminder, but what does that headband have to do with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, you know, a lot of kids, like you guys, do you guys play video games, right? Yeah? So you, you probably know what this is, right? Yeah. So this is a representation of a health bar. Oh, so. okay. And that's from video games? Yeah. So, okay. like, for instance, in a video game, if you let this get really low, then you get, um, you can't really overcome obstacles very easily. You get knocked oh. down. Makes you really weak? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes you really weak. I see so. that. Makes sense. Yeah. So, on the, on the contrary, if you, you know, you go and get your, your jewels or your, um, you know, your health, and you get that, it builds it up so that you oh, have the strength to be able to beat the boss or beat oh, the enemy. Oh, okay. So, okay, yeah. I think I kind of understand. So how do we tie the two together? <laughs> well, a lot like video games, we don't actually go out and, you know, grab Find jewels. jewels. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> build up our health. <laughs> but we do have a really cool way. We have the Holy Spirit. So yeah. all we have to do is pray in the Holy Spirit, and that gives us mm -hmm. strength. And that yeah. builds up our spirit, that man. Gives for us, sure. gives us health so that we can overcome and, you know. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. like the thoughts of the enemy. Yeah. And anything from the flesh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for instance, like if maybe Johnny over here was having a bad day mm -hmm. and, you know, he was dealing with some frustrating stuff, uh, maybe somebody was annoying, I know I've dealt with that before, um, all he would have to do is like excuse himself and mm -hmm. go pray in the spirit for yeah. like, you know, just a few minutes. Yeah. And that builds him up in the inside on the spirit man. So oh, like yeah. his little health bar would go do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what happens is he gets strength on the inside so that yeah. he has um, the ability to overcome and yeah. resist those thoughts of the flesh. And he, if he yields to the spirit, then he can come back to that situation mm -hmm. and it be totally different. Yeah, that makes so. sense. I mean, whenever we build up our spirit, I know, especially for me, it's so much easier in those situations when the enemy brings a thought to me or I get those flesh thoughts, you know, to be like, okay, I know what the word says. I'm going to build myself up in the spirit instead. And listen to that because man, yeah, totally. it's so much easier that oh, way. Oh man, I can get your days day better. So much better. Oh yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, anyway, so I am going to go encourage some more kids oh, to yeah. pray in the spirit and build up their oh, yeah. health bar. Those so. campers need to see that for yeah, sure. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get some okay, lunch. We'll nice see to you see you. <laughs> hey guys, I want to tell you about this new health bar we have here. Hey Toby. Great job praying over lunch, man. I hope I didn't cut you off guard whenever I asked you to pray. Oh yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting you to ask me. Well, you did a great job and you didn't sound nervous or scared at all. Oh good, because initially whenever you asked me, I almost came back and told you I couldn't do it because I was so scared. But I was reminded of what you taught during chapel of like, yeah. the experience whenever you have fear. Mm -hmm. And while I was walking over to lunch, I just prayed in the Holy Spirit. Man, that's awesome. When you did that, could you tell a difference in your confidence? Uh, not at first. I was still a little scared to pray in front of everyone sure. like that. But as I started to pray for lunch, I could tell the fear of being up there like left me and I had like extra confidence. That's awesome. That's the help of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, when you pray in the Spirit like that, you're exercising your spirit. Your confidence is just going to be there. And you're going to be strong, ready to overcome the flesh every single time. And that's what happened. It'll work for anybody. Anybody that'll do these keys that we're learning at camp, they'll learn to overcome their flesh because they're developing a strong spirit. Awesome, man. Well, keep up the good work. I'm going to ask you to pray again. See you. Hey, Counselor Megan. Oh, hey, Counselor Hannah. You going rock climbing today? Oh, you know it. Have you seen how tall those rock walls are yeah. at camp? They're huge. Well, they were screaming for a day on the rock. So I had to sign up and had some campers sign up and we're going today. Well, that sounds really fun. Yeah, yeah it's so, going to be a lot of fun. What are you doing with your rope? Oh, well, do you see how tall this rope is or how long it is? Yeah. We're going to need all of it and we certainly don't need any of these gnats. Okay, 
<laughs> well, how come? Oh, well, because if we take a climber and we want them to go to the top, mm -hmm. if I have this knot in here, they're going to get stuck and we're going to be in a little bit of a pickle. Really? How so? Oh, you want me to show you? Yeah. Okay, so we have this tool called a belay. Okay. And so you have a person on the ground and they have the belay. Okay. One end is tied to the climber. Okay. And this one is tied to me. Gotcha. And look, I'm going to give them the rope so they have plenty of room and they're safe on the rock, that's most important. Mm -hmm. We want them to be safe. But then look, what happens? When I have a knot in here, if I get, oh, if that climber gets all the way to the top, and then look, look what happens. Oh, it's stuck. Ooh, you can't go anymore. The climber oh, okay. is stuck on the wall. Oh, he'd be stuck? Yeah. Up there? Yeah. Rock climbing? That's not cool. Oh no, that yeah. would be horrible. Yeah. You know, that kind of reminds me, or makes me think of, when our conscience is bothering us. You know, like when we do something that we know we're not supposed to do, it bothers our conscience. And you know our conscience is the voice of our spirit, right? That is right. And yeah. you know, getting stuck in our faith, just mm -hmm. like not having confidence, is like getting this rope stuck through here. Yeah. Yeah, which is not okay. No, because mm -hmm. then when you're stuck in your faith, you don't have the confidence to then go to the Lord. Oh, I know. You know, and yeah. we need to be able to talk to him. Yeah. But it seems like those knots are pretty easy to undo, right? They are really easy to undo, which is also like with the knots, if we get stuck in our faith and we have sinned, mm -hmm. you know what we can do? We can repent. Yes, we can repent, mm -hmm. which is just as easy as, as repenting doing as, as doing this. Yeah, it's so easy. All we have to do is go to the Lord, you know, tell him mm -hmm. that we did something wrong, yeah. and he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins. Doesn't matter what you've done, yeah. he will always forgive them, and then yep. you can have confidence in going to the Lord. Yeah, and asking yes. him for anything. Yes, and yeah. I can get all these knots out, yes. and I can be confident in taking these kids up this rock. And keeping them safe. And keeping them safe, and they yeah. won't get stuck. Yes, you yes. know, that's a really good thing because you wouldn't want the kids to get stuck up there. And no. we definitely don't want to get stuck in our faith. No, absolutely not. But there's no reason to be stay stuck. Yep. If you feel stuck, you don't have to stay there. Mm -mm. You just repent. Just repent. That easy. That's <laughs> right. Hey, you got to come join us for rock climbing? Well, I'll have to check on my schedule, but it seems like fun. You guys have a blast. Okay. okay we're going to have a blast. <laughs> I hope to see you there. Okay, I'll see you okay. later, counselor. Bye. here campers for this portion of Camp Spirit Man Boot Camp! Yeah! Now, have you noticed a more strong spirit? Have you noticed some strength there? You know, I have. Me I've too. noticed a difference. Well, we're not gonna quit. We're gonna keep pushing on. We're gonna stay with it. And we are going to see results! Yeah! Yeah! Big results! And here at Camp Spirit Man Boot Camp, we teach people how to grow their spirit and say it with me, Overcome their flesh by relating it to the physical body. That's right. All right. Now, as always, it's time to whip that spirit into shape. All right. You guys ready? If you're ready, say camp spirit man boot camp. Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're always ready. They're so All right, ready. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Let's get ready for our workout, muscle man. Yes, me. What are we doing today? Well, campers, I'd like us all to do some squats. Squats! Today. Squats! Now, if you don't know what a squat is, I'm here to show you. That's what I'm good at because I've learned how to do squats better. So first thing you do, you stand up, arms out like this, and you bend down with your legs. Keep that back straight while you do it, and then up, and then down again, and then up. All Just right. like that. Just, Just like, like that. that. All right. So okay. we're going to be doing that while we do our cadence. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. We know how to overcome. We know how to overcome. These keys make our spirit strong. These keys make our spirit strong. Feed and think upon the word. Feed and think upon the word. Not forgetting what we've heard. Not forgetting what we've heard. Grow in love and spiritual fruits. Grow in love and 
spiritual fruit. We'll overcome and have deep roots. We'll overcome and have deep roots. And praying in the Holy Ghost. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Builds up the part that matters most. Builds up the part that matters most. We are doers and we obey. We are doers and we obey. Listen to the Spirit every day. Listen to the Spirit every day. Yes, we know how to overcome. Yes, we know how to overcome. These kids make our spirit strong. These kids make our spirit strong. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Feel yeah. the burn. Feel the burn. The burn. In your legs. Yeah! yeah! We got Ooh. this. Man, I can really tell that's working in my legs. Yeah, mine too. That's one thing I've had to work on here at Camp Spearman Boot Camp but I can tell you it's working. They're getting stronger. All right, well, did you hear what we were talking about while we were doing those squats? I did this time. I did. We tell us what it is. We were talking about the four keys to developing a strong spirit. Four of them. But you know, doing squats aren't gonna build up your spirit. That's they right. It will make those legs stronger. Yeah, it will. Whew. And our body needs food and it needs exercise and our spirit is just like that. We got to feed our spirit by meditating and seeking the Lord and doing, being a word, being a doer of the word of God. That's right. Things like that. So things you got to be like, you got to be nice instead of being rude. That's it. Even if you just really want to be mean, you got that spirit telling you, don't do that. That's not a good thing. Yep, you listen to that spirit, listen to that voice. And you gotta be obedient to your parents. That's true, you it's do. In the Bible, honor thy father and mother, you know? Yep, you live long on the earth. It's a and good promise. You gotta remember what you learned in class. Whether you're yeah. at school, church, home, you gotta remember that. And you gotta apply it and be a doer. That's it, yep. And when we do these things, our spirit will get stronger and stronger. And stronger. And stronger. And stronger. And stronger. It's gonna get so strong. Oh, and then, yeah. say it with me, it'll be easier to overcome our flesh. That's right. Till next time, stay spirit fit, stay spirit smart. Smart. Attention. Eyes forward. Shoulders back. Dismiss. All right, campers, it's time to climb the flagpole. Who's gonna be our first climber? I know who it is. It's Joey. Joey, you're up. Come on over here, man. Well, what do I do? All you gotta do is climb to the top and ring the bell. I, I don't think I can. Why not? Well, I feel like if I try to climb it, I'm gonna fall off and hurt myself. Well, is that a God thought? No. You know how you know? How? Because I would never ask you to do something that I knew that you couldn't do. Okay. You can do it. But you just seem like you're lacking some confidence. What's going on? Well, a few days ago, I stole some candy from Billy and I have not feeling very good about it. Well, sounds like your conscience is bothering you. You know, we've learned at camp that the conscience is the voice of our spirit. So if you're not listening to your conscience, you're not listening to your spirit. But you can get that cleared up right now. You can fix it right now. Just go to God and ask him to forgive you. Lord, I pray that you would forgive me and I pray that you'd help me and Billy to be good friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That's awesome. Now there's one other thing I need you to do. If you want to have that confidence like you should, you need to go see Billy and ask him to forgive you. Make things right. Okay. I'll... Yeah, go do that. And then we'll tackle the pole. Okay. All right, campers, let's see. Who's next? How about you? Come on. Well, howdy campers. I'm so happy you're here. Well, I'm in the middle of making us a nutritious snack and it's going to be delicious. Now this is something you can do at home too. What I have here is a tortilla. 
and it's healthy for you. So it's good grains for your body. I've got some cream cheese to put on this. I also have some black olives. I already chopped those up earlier. And then you can grab any kind of cheese that you like if you're doing this at home. Pay attention now, this is something you're gonna to wanna to do. And then over here I've got my turkey. Now you can use any kind of turkey or any kind of meat that you'd like. It could be ham or roast beef. It's an excellent source of protein. It helps build up the muscles. Now also, when you get a little bit low energy in the afternoon, you need a little snack to lift you up. And that reminds me of your spirit man as well needs to have nutrition. You need to build up that spirit man with what? What do you think? The word of God is one way we can build up our spirit man. What about, let's say we pray in the spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost. That's gonna help build up your spirit man just like a nutritional snack can help build up your body. Praying in the Holy Spirit, reading your Bible. You know what? Singing and praising God helps build up your spirit, man. And you can do that anywhere, any time of the day. It's a wonderful way to build up your spirit, man. God has provided us so many ways to build up our spirit and make that spirit man stronger and stronger. Just like he's given us so many kinds of foods that we can eat. Uh, carbs and proteins, fruits and vegetables. There are so many delicious foods to help make our bodies strong. And likewise, God has given us many ways to build up your spirit, man. Another would be uh, listening to your pastor, preach and teach the word. And let's see, how about meditating on the word? What does that mean? Well, you just get quiet and you think about God. You think about how good he is. Oh, that makes me think of another excellent way to build up your spirit, man. Thankfulness. Thankfulness will build up your spirit, man, and make it stronger. Now on these delicious pinwheels, after you put all that deliciousness on there, you're gonna roll it up, and this is what's gonna give us that pinwheel look. And then you'll just take it, you'll give it a nice little slice, and oh boy, have you got some deliciousness there. All right, now boys and girls, you come on up here and come and get you some snack. Come in. Billy, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, go ahead. Yesterday, uh, I found your box of candy on a picnic table and I took some. I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. And I apologize for taking your basketball the other day and being a general jerk at camp. Oh, and you too, Toby. All the times I've been mean. Sorry. I forgive you too, Billy. Yep. Hey, Billy, I sent you were pretty good at juggling. Do you think you could teach me how? Don't know about being good at it, but I can try. You guys want to skin? Yeah. Yes, please. You guys want to play some ninja long for a little bit? Sure. All right. I'm on level 104 now. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm 208. I'm on Hey campers! Oh man, I am so glad that you stopped by my activity station today because I was just telling my friend today how beautiful the trees are here at camp. At camp they are, see they are showing all of their beautiful colors, red and yellow. And so, we must have an activity today that uses all those beautiful leaves that are falling off the tree. Look here, I have made this beautiful tree and look, it is planted by what? By the water, that's right. Now, here at camp, you are going to see tons of trees and tons of leaves. And so, as you are out and about today, I want you to pick up some leaves, pick up some sticks, 
because we are gonna do this craft today. Now, wherever you're sitting, if you're sitting here, I want you to look around you, pick up some leaves. If you don't have any, I can give you some. I've got lots of extra. I've gathered lots here. Now, how are we gonna make this tree? We are going to glue these sticks and these leaves on this paper. Now, why do you think we are gonna make this tree by the water? Well, because at camp we've been talking about our spirit and growing our spirit and how it overcomes the flesh. But for it to overcome the flesh, when we do all the things that we have been learning about meditating in God's word and worshiping God and praying in the spirit, our spirit flourishes and it grows so strong. It gets rooted in God's word, just like this tree that's planted by the water. See there? Now it's planted here and its roots are gonna get all that water. It's gonna be strong and healthy and grow very strong. So let's make a tree today. All right, grab around you some sticks and leaves, everybody. And I've given you all a piece of paper and some glue. Oh, and a little tape. Don't forget your tape. All right, so we're gonna take our piece of paper. Here we go. And we are going to be creative because that's what we do here at camp especially at Miss Megan's activity table. I want you to take some sticks. You can break them, break those sticks, and you can make your tree as tall or as short as you want. I'm going to put a lot of sticks together to make the trunk of my tree because I want to remember my tree is strong. All right, so we're gonna stick our trunks together. Trunks, our sticks together to make a big trunk. Now, you are going to use that tape that I gave you. Here is that tape, and you're going to tape these down. At camp, we gotta use what we got. And you know what? If we glue these sticks down, they won't stay. So I'm gonna use our tape. All right, you got your tape down? All right, oh good, okay, looks awesome. All right, now we're going to take some of our leaves. You can do your leaves however you would like to do them. You're going to glue them on your paper. Oh, and you know what? You could also tape on some sides to your tree to make your limbs. Nice, whoops, there goes Miss Megan's glue. Now, I'm gonna tape these on really fast. Man, camp has been so much fun today. I have really enjoyed walking around and seeing all the different activities that we've been able to do today. This whole thing about growing our spirit and being rooted in God's word, it's good stuff. All right, so we're gonna glue and tape all of these on. Do you have glue at your station? Okay, good. Get your glue, glue those on, then now, I've also given you some blue paper and some brown paper and some scissors. I would like for you to plant your tree by the water. Here it is. All right, so you're going to take some of your blue paper and you're going to glue that down. And then you're gonna take some of your brown paper and you're gonna glue that down. Now, what about all of you who are sitting in dirt? Are you sitting in dirt? Great. Pick some of that dirt up. Use your glue on your paper and sprinkle that dirt. Look, Miss Megan has some right here. And we're gonna put glue on the paper and we're gonna sprinkle the dirt and it's gonna stay. Decorate your water and voila! You will have a tree that is rooted in God's word and it is growing and flourishing because it's a doer, just like you. All right, campers, get busy. Get busy making that tree. Listen to the holy... Hey, look, man. Oh, Speed! Speed, wait, oh. wait up, Speed. Oh, I wanted to tell you something. Down me. Oh, all ears. Okay, so this camp's been wonderful. I'm growing yeah. in the spirit. I'm learning things. Just the other day, I went out with Counselor Eli. He's we went out man. on... We went out on kayaks. We did kayaking. I it was so cool. You know, he was talking to me about getting quiet and hearing from the Holy Spirit. And it was just so amazing. I thought I'd go out today and do it. So, I was out there, I had my kayak, I put it in the water, and I just got this check, kind of like in my spirit. It was like a, it was kind of like a, like a poke, like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I was like, what is that? So, I took the things I learned, I started praying in the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. 
I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I prayed in the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit spoke to me. He was like, hey, muscle man. He was like, get this. He was like, you forgot your paddle. He reminded me that I forgot my paddle. That's awesome. You got to have your paddles if you're going to kayak. Absolutely. You know what? You know what that tells me? What's that? That tells me that your spirit's getting stronger. You're growing. Your spirit's growing. It's growing. And you know, in John 14, 26, it says he'll bring all things to our remembrance, which includes paddles for your kayaks. If you forgot to make your bed at your bunk, you forgot to shut the door, you left the milk out on the counter. Even if it seems like something small, he'll remember. That's amazing. He'll tell you. That's amazing. He must so love cool. us. He just loves us. Oh, absolutely. Above so and beyond. beyond. He loves us. Amazing. Well, I'm really glad you told me. Yeah, that makes I, me happy. I thought you'd like to hear that, so I thought I'd tell you. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'll right. see you around, muscle man. I'll see you. I'm gonna go after that kite. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I'm going that. I'm way. going this way. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, Speed. That's all right. Sorry. Hey, Joey. Hey, you ready? Yes, sir. Awesome. Hey, Joey, great job, man. Awesome. Hey, Counselor Jeffrey. Counselor Hannah. Here's your guitar. Brought it for you. Thank you so much. Campers, we're getting ready to do our worship service. So all of you out there, why don't you grab a blanket and you can sit on the ground. Yeah, make sure there's enough room for everybody. Good job. You know, this week we have been learning about the keys to building up your spirit. Yeah, and you guys have been doing a great job, by yes, the way. Yes, you have. We've been learning about feeding and meditating on the Word of God. Right. And we also learned about uh, walking in the fruits of the Spirit. Yes, and we're learning about praying in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend a little bit of time worshiping the Lord because that's another way to build yourself up mm -hmm. inside. You know, there's nothing better than spending time with the Lord. Yeah. He is the greatest of all. Yeah. And He will make you strong on the inside just by being around Him. Yes, and building my spirit through worship. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite way to do it. Me too. You know, it's so good to spend time with Him. And we don't need to be around a campfire. You don't have to be in church. You don't mm -hmm. even have to have an instrument. Yeah. You can just spend time with Him by getting in a quiet place and singing to Him and worshiping Him. You know, I really enjoy doing it in my car, mm -hmm. worshiping Him in my car because it's so quiet. And I can just tell Him how much He means to me. Mm -hmm. And then when I get out of my car, my spirit is so strong. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can hear from Him better. You know, and it's encouraging. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. It's so good to spend this time with Him. So I want to encourage you all to do that right now. You know? Yeah. And remember, you're the only one that can worship for you. Mm -hmm. God wants to hear your voice. Yes. He made you unique to every other person. And your praise can be something that you can offer to Him today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's quiet our minds and let's sing to Him. Thank you, Lord. song that says I'm keeping my mind stayed on the Lord. We're just focusing on Him. There you go. I'm keeping my mind stayed on the
keeping me in perfect peace. I'm keeping my mind stayed on the Lord. My mind stayed upon the Lord. I'm keeping my mind stayed on the Lord. He's my is so good to be focused on him. So to help you do that, why don't you close your eyes and raise your hands and we'll sing that his spirit would move through this worship service. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Just stay in this thankfulness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can spend time with you and build our spirits up. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord. To the King, eternal, immortal, invisible.